So today I thought it would be a good idea to go through all of my clothes, try on absolutely everything in my closet, declutter the things that I'm not wearing, revisit old things, and as a kind of act of self-care, self-love, get rid of things that don't, you know, no longer serve me, no longer fit me, make me feel bad about myself. Because if you're not taking care of yourself, I mean, guys, look at my hair. This is the stage that we've got to. <laughs> But first, I just want to say a massive thank you to Nord Green for sponsoring today's video. If you saw my Christmas gift guide, then you will have seen that I mentioned them there. They're currently running a campaign that is kind of for Valentine's Day, but it's more so not to focus on couples and being together, but more to focus on ourselves and, and self-love. So that's why I wanted to do this video today as an act of, you know, taking care of myself and appreciating that my mind really needs a clear space and to get rid of anything that just isn't serving me anymore and making me feel maybe not as good as I should about myself. If you don't know much about Nor Green, they are a Danish watch brand that care about both people and sustainability. And I just absolutely love their minimalist style watch. It is so beautiful and it's classic and it's timeless. And this is what I specifically look for when I am ever purchasing an item or looking to kind of invest in something like a watch, something that's gonna last forever or last a really long time. I want it to be classic. I want it to be timeless. I want it to be minimalist. I want it to be just beautiful and will go with everything that I possibly wear. I don't want it to be something that, you know, I can only wear with certain items. So this is definitely the watch for me. Nor Green cares about people and the environment by using sustainable packaging, packaging that's made up of upcycled plastic bottles and FSC certified cartons. They have carbon neutral shipping. They have a giving back program, which is so important. So I'll put the link for that in the description if you wanna check it out. And also, if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you want more daily content, then head over to Instagram and give me a follow there. So today is one of those days where like wearing a bra is probably appropriate, but I feel like I've lost all sense of common decency in lockdown because it's been so long, so you're welcome. Shorts. I'm worried about this one. I think you'll notice that I have quite a lot of active wear, but as someone who moves every single day, it's important that I have enough because I hate doing washing more than like once a week. And also I find that with a lot of active wear, it wears out so bloody quickly and I end up getting holes and stuff. So, but all of the branded stuff that are fast fashion that I wouldn't buy, they're all second hand. I'd never buy that stuff first hand. Just some of the stuff is more wearable than some of the other, you know, more sustainable brands that I have worn and bought and have lasted longer. So I'm not adverse to buying things like shorts second hand. I wouldn't buy tights second hand because they wear out so quickly. Even when I buy them first hand, they wear out so quickly and it's so, it's so frustrating. So yeah, that's why I'm sort of moving more towards shorts because they tend for me anyway to wear out far less quickly. But I, I like to buy them second hand. I haven't had a single problem with buying shorts second hand as of yet, as yet. Anyway, let's move on. Okay, who remembers the age of the disco pant when American Apparel was so popular? Because I still have my black ones that I absolutely love. I don't know, I think the problem is when you buy stuff when you're like 18, 19, 20, and you're, you feel like you can get away with anything, you know? Obviously I'm not flexible, but these are so like, you know, you can just, I feel like I'm in a call on me video, you know, you're like, mm, mm, mm. Too small. 
did somebody say kill to me? That's the problem with buying stuff that you think you can pull off, but you just can't. I mean, my body shape, I am so long, it just doesn't make sense for me to buy something that's cut off like this and then kind of flared. It just doesn't suit my body shape, so yeah, they're out. I love these trousers. Can you see them? They're like a high waist kind of balloon pant. What do we think, you know? I don't know, like I've made an effort with my hair. Do you know what, I feel nice, I'm not gonna lie. I feel, mm. what do you think? Oh, it has even got pockets, guys. It's even got pockets. Yeah. Okay, next. So my mum actually bought me this dress because we were going to a christening. She was actually embarrassed about the uh, clothes that I was planning on wearing, so she bought me this dress. I don't know if I like it, you know, I think it looks nicer now that my hair is much longer, but it's one of those things that because I was bought it, I just feel really guilty about giving it away, especially because it's like not, like it was not a cheap dress, so I'm just a bit confused as to what to do, but I'm gonna put it back on the rack and we'll see. Okay, it's unclear as to whether this will fit me. I bought this dress when I was 15. Will it fit? Will it not? And I have, have been able to wear it since, but... Oh, hello. Oh my God, is this happening? Can you see my boobs? Well, if you can, I'm not sorry. I'm not mad about the fact that this dress still fits me. It really needs a good clean, but... I don't know how I'm gonna get out of it though, that's the only thing. Okay, last dress in the collection. You have to let me know if you think that this actually suits me. Because I think this colour is pretty spectacular, but I can't tell if this actually like suits me, you know? It's just what it is, what it is. What do you think? I really like this. I still really wear this. And again, guys, it's got pockets. Okay, we're gonna do dungarees first and like all in one things. But I think it's personally it's see-through and I don't really understand how I got away with wearing this before, but shall we, tell me what you think. Obviously this is more of a summer thing, but I think you can actually see my entire arse. And that's not what we want. I think it might be time for this to go. I like it, but I mean, it's shit quality. Look, that's ripped through there, ripped a bit, ripped a bit here. Obviously I can repair these things, but like the quality is shit. I can't believe I spent a lot of money on this. But I think you can actually see my entire arse. It's not what you want from your clothes. We know I love this dark, these dungarees, but I will add, Again, what is it with these quality? And I think, I think there's one in my ass as well. Yeah. Obviously I can patch these up, but again, guys, these aren't even that old. Why am I having to repair stuff? This is my biggest pet peeve when I like invest in a piece of clothing or whatever and then I have to repair it, not but a year later. I think I bought this when I was trying to be like, I could be a bit smarter, you know? I could wear a jumper over the top and it could be like a thing and I could wear, tights and I could be a bit more professional. The only thing is I do feel like it makes me seem more mature, you know, like, cause it's like a shirt dress. Although I probably should have ironed it really. I always find it how surprising it 
is when you get emotional about certain things that you're trying to give up and things like that because so many of the clothes that I have and I'm sure many of you have are tied to memories to moments to people you went shopping with to times of your life to when you were you know a really fit person or a really healthy person or it wasn't such a great time of your life I definitely feel that when I try on a lot of my clothes <sighs> especially my things from Michigan like that, that was one of the best years of my life it was life altering it was incredibly challenging in good and bad ways it was exciting it was the first time I'd ever been uh, out of the country alone and it was just an incredible experience so to have items that are tied to that are something that I just don't particularly want to let go especially when I do wear them but that hockey t-shirt I am going to get rid of because I have not worn that for years years i'd love to know if there are any items that you particularly have that you hold on to that it's really hard to give up because it is one of those things it's just it's challenging it is challenging to get rid of things that are tied to those memories but i am looking forward to sorting out all of the clothes behind me you know washing everything properly getting rid of things that aren't serving me anymore that are too small that i just don't wear and then putting everything back in my cupboard and tidying my bedroom i hope you enjoyed this video <laughs> honestly i just sometimes it's good to do this to just <sighs> you know I also like these more casual videos where we can just talk a bit more and get to know each other a bit more and I hope that you enjoyed me being silly and trying on my clothes and yeah. Recently my motivation has absolutely plummeted and my I've become very distracted and I'm trying really hard to get back into a focused state. I'm doing my meditation, I'm doing my journaling, I'm doing my exercise so hopefully, hopefully this lockdown will be okay anyway we are rambling as per usual so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe and go and follow me over on instagram if you want to check out more short reels and things like that that i'm doing over there and don't forget to check out these guys because i love them so thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and i'll see you very very soon bye